all right guys what's going on so uh this is what the deal is i came out to crawford today to uh fill the turkey feeders make sure everything's going good next weekend's turkey i won't be here i'm heading on a mountain lion hunt i'll be gone for six or seven days but when i get back i will be after the turkey so this is what's happening i came out here filled feeders had a few minutes till a buddy of mine got here we're fixing to head to my ranch in jonesboro and do the same thing and then we're going to stay and hunt for a while we're going to call and uh look for pigs so this is what i did while i was waiting i got wesley's gun got the 308 with a pulsar trail 38 on it i set it up at 50 yards which is what we're normally shooting pigs at which is where we walked up to the last I don't know, four or five pigs that we've shot at. And uh, Wesley has been taking them out at the knees. So I wanted to check and say, man, is this my equipment this bad? And we need to go take it to the range and see if everything's, you know, soldered in, good to go. Or is Wesley shooting the legs off of him? Is he just missing and taking out the legs? Or is it a plan? Is he taking out the legs to help slow him down so we can get some more shots on him? I don't know, but I figured it out. And I'm going to show you guys what I figured out. So here it is. That is what we're dealing with right there. All right, so I I shot two times. This bullet was already here. This bullet's already here. This bullet was already here. I shot this one and this one here. So the gun is basically dead on. Wesley has been missing. It's, it is a operator error. I just wanted to clarify that where we didn't have any excuses or, or wonders. So now we know. I set it up on a uh, pig slayer with a bog pot on it. It was steady, it was smooth, it shot dead on. So. We know what's happening now. We're gonna wrap it up here and we're gonna head to Jonesboro and we're gonna get on some animals. We're gonna call in hopefully some coyotes. I got a dead pit out there where we've been throwing a bunch of pigs and uh, varmints. So we're gonna go out there and see if uh, we can get them, to see if they're already on the dead pit or see if we can get them to come in and uh, go have a little fun. All right guys, so. We, we just left my ranch uh, about 30 minutes ago. For the most part, it was a bust. But I did get to finally blow dart an armadillo. I've been dying to know if one of the darts would go through it, if it'd bounce off, if I could blow hard enough to penetrate, and it did. Uh, I did not go through the, the, the thicket that it ran into to get him out, but you can watch the, or you, you, you're gonna see the video and, and uh, it's pretty, pretty neat. We're here now at a buddy of mine's grandpa's ranch and right here on the driveway they were, were we spotted seven eight pigs um the cool thing about it is there's goat wire here along both sides of the fence so we should get plenty of shots at them they can't go anywhere but at us or away from us they can't get out in the field to the left they can't get out on the field to the right so uh this ought to be pretty interesting we're going to get out and take some shots.
All right, guys, so we just got done for the night. We had uh, four pigs in one field. I don't know, seven, eight pigs on the road. We ended up, uh, I believe, dropping three on the road. We had 11 pigs in the field and we dropped four. I left the camera and my light and all I have is a cell phone. 39 degrees, muddy. We just got rain earlier this week and I had mud up to my knees and freshly plowed fields. They're planting this week. I wasn't coming back to the truck to get the camera. I didn't get any picture, uh, pictures of the pigs on, on camera tonight. But uh, anyways, we got some good footage of the shots. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Good night.